Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. I think this is a fifth or sixth part of the video. I'll do one more when I'm done. This is what's going on. As I dug up this area, I found the bad neutral. Completely eroded and it was sizzling, almost like with the acid coming out of there, a bubbly white foam. So that was coming out of there, right where the tractor was. And uh, so when I isolated that, that worked well, but I did get to find it, I normally don't get to. I dug right over everything and cut the wire back as I went. I leveled this trench out. Remember my other video, I had to cut the siding, I had to cut one sprinkler pipe, but I was able to dig this, and this was already at about four foot to three and a half. By the time we get over here, we're at the right depth. We're over here at two foot by the time I get over here. And then this guy, this is the edge right here, and this guy will go right on top of here. Um, I do like to, to uh, I did feed that all the way through. I put some putty on this so dirt doesn't get in my conduit. And this is right here what's being fed to that meter. I do not have to dig that up. I'll splice all this and put this on and then I like to use these Ilsco connectors. Again, this is not for homeowners or handymen. This video is definitely for an electrician to do this work. Um, someone should be licensed. Again, this is why I want all my feeders put in. Uh, and a conduit at the underground. Um, what I think happened was um, I found two of these, one over there by the transformer and one right here um, on this side of the trench. And I believe they actually fed underground the, through that soft dirt. That's why they went so deep. Uh, but normally when you go too deep, it's so hard to repair code states that we have to be 18 inches on you on a PVC schedule 40 at 240 volt I like to be two two and a half foot um, but when you're doing URD you're supposed to be two foot so again I think this was getting pulled through that wire got nicked there was a hard piece of clay next to it if you've ever seen hard clay in Colorado it's about as bad as a rock and I believe it nicked it and it just took 19 years for that to open up um, but yeah so the complaint matched the issue and then she'll do a quick scope of everything we're dealing with here excuse our mess i'll be cleaning up by six tonight um we'll get this preliminary drain fixed too as well all right guys thanks for joining us i'll give you a last video of how it looks when we're finished bye